Today is a very exciting day. I'm finally going to get ahead and end draw the winner of the giveaway that I had going on. It was just a little giveaway to say thank you so much for everybody that's um, voted for me, share my videos and everything for the cosmetics, uh, your most beautiful you contest. And like I said, it was just my way of saying thank you so much. So my son here and he put all the names in his little hat here and um, I see the flash in that. So he put all the names in there, and um, so we're going to go ahead and draw the winner. <clears throat> and the winner <laughs> of the most beautiful you drawing is. This kind of replaces the drum roll. Like, like, Do you want me to reach or you want to reach? I'll let you. Uh, I'll let you have the honors, Mom. Okay. All right. So let me go ahead and reach in here. You can tell me if I grab one at some point whenever I finally get it. Oh, I feel like I have one. Do I have one? Just mm, one? Yep, just one. This one. Just okay, one. we just have one. And it is KS Girl Michelle. That's Ke Kansas. Is it Kansas City? I believe that's where you're at. So I know where that package is going to Kansas City. But you have to give me, obviously, your address and the information. So just um, if you want to, you can email it to me at all that beauty. Um, all that beauty at gmail.com um, usually my email is down there or you can message me you can do a private message but you know go ahead and contact me and um, so yeah congratulations Michelle I have a lot of friends named Michelle so, so that's congratulations cool. so yeah. thank you Joshua I just want to pop on here real quick <laughs> and tell you guys like um, if you haven't really, like most of the videos I have recently put up, they were all pre-recorded, so, but it's been working for me that way, and um, which I'm sure a lot of you guys that do film, you know what it's like. Sometimes you can get uh, overwhelmed with stuff, and sometimes it's just so much easier if you pre-record your stuff and then, you know, load it up later, so. Um, but this video here, I'm filming now, today, on Wednesday. The day after the end of the drawing and I'm going to be putting it up here a little bit later but probably after dinner time at this point so but what I wanted to talk to you guys about was um, it's just uh, you know just there's been a lot going on for me right now and I wasn't sure at first of how some of my recordings were going to do so well and it was just like um, well, I'm not going to go into detail, like, there's, like, a lot, there's a lot of personal things going on, so, you know, there's that, um, you know, and, uh, my husband and my son and just different people have been very su supportive on, um, certain things, you know, and, um, so there's, like, just some, you know, personal things going on, and, um, so that's kind of had me, my emotions all in so many crazy ways, um, but then the kicker, kicker of it all was um, my son, who just did the drawing now, um, his, uh, pretty much on his side of the family, like my, their father, my ex, um, his brother's wife, sister, if I'm saying this correctly, um, was murdered. Oh it was just like crazy because yeah. like, uh, when you hear people say, you know, not my town, not my area, you know, I mean, you just, that's what you hear, and, and then, then it's like, wow, like, I'm one of them people that, you know, you think about, like, well, you know, like, I mean, we've had things happen here, but I do live in a small town, pretty much, and, and there has been some pretty drastic things, but I don't know, just that one just kind of really was like, wow, um, and what had happened was, um, it first started off with my mom saying that there was um, an escapee from prison um, from the area, and there was a big manhunt for him. Um, and I was like, oh my gosh, you know. And so, yeah, like, I've always been somebody that's very cautious with things anyway. And then it turned into um, 
they were mentioning that now he was wanted for homicide also on top of it all. And so I was like, oh my god, you know, like, yeah, he murdered somebody, you know, from the area. Or he's, con you know, he's considered a murderer. He, they said he fl fled the prison and went to a home nearby and uh, murdered a woman. And uh, so then it was like, oh my gosh, you know. Um, but then when they said the name on TV, when it, you know, when they said the name, I kept sitting there and I kept saying to myself, I know that name. Why do I know that name? You know, like, why does that name sound so familiar to me? And I kept thinking and thinking. And it was my son who turned around the room and was like, oh my god, mom, like, that's, I think, Aunt Faith's sister, his, his aunt's sister. And I just thought for a moment, and I'm like, I think he's correct. I think he's right. And I thought, oh my goodness. So I went on Facebook and started looking. I thought I was completely pretty much you know, confirmed. And, and um, you know, I, I knew this lady too. Like, the, I, I think the sad part is, and this is true about her, is she was somebody that always helped people. She was always like, somebody that helped people out or was just there for people. Um, she was somebody that probably was so kind that her kindness basically is what, what kind of ended up getting her murdered and stuff because from what, um, from what the whole thing sounded like, she kind of knew the guy and um, he... She didn't know he was an escapee or even in prison because they just recently arrested him. And really he wasn't, he was in, he was in for drugs, you know, the big thing that you hear so much anymore. Um, but, um, so she didn't know. And I guess her boyfriend was there and he was leaving for work and he told her that he needed, I guess, a ride or something. I don't know, but just anyway. Don't know the full details, so I'm not gonna go fully because I don't know. Just that, yeah, he beaten and and strangled her. So I didn't know how that was gonna affect the kids because, like, they knew her pretty well too. Because, um, you know, obviously that's their dad's side of the family. They're one aunt sister, and every time I went to their one aunt's house, like this, you know, her, her the sister, like she comes from a big family, but. I knew uh, three of them, especially from the family. She was one of them. Cause she was always there. So, family's very take it very very hard. Um, and I wasn't sure how many emotions it was going to start for my kids too, because their dad died of a accidental drug overdose, and um, that hit a real hard moment for them. And that was five years ago. About five years ago. What do you think now? Because time goes so fast for a car. Ten years. I'm saying five years. See, time goes by too fast. Oh my god. Wow. Ten years ago. Okay. Um, so I didn't know what it was going to do to them a little bit. You know, kind of, you know. So I guess what I wanted to say was, um, if you could, send some pretty good vibes for your family. They're really going to need it. Um, you know, she had two kids. Uh, five grandchildren. You know. Uh, she devoted herself to her grandchildren too and stuff and um you know it's really just little kids they're just just little kids you know so yeah it's it's crazy just to think about that you know but but it's been a pretty rough week because there was things there's things that's been going on with me or for me um health issues and just some personal things and whatever and then that was like, it was like, holy cow, you know, like, yeah, when it rains, it pours. And, um, so I didn't know how well my videos were going to go up at first because I wasn't sure on too many things. But I think, I think things for, for me will work out and turn out. But then they're going to need prayers. Really, 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 I guess it's just crazy to me because, like, you know, you never know. You, you can know somebody, or you think you know somebody, or maybe they're just a little bit of a quaint. Things will unfold as, as they do, so. But I just can't imagine finding your loved one beaten and strangled to death. And when I went to the funeral home, 
you know, you could, in the township could have a fight. So, yeah, it was pretty, and I just wanted to be able to chat and kind of just, and I, you know, update you on a few things and just, um, like, I, I wasn't sure how my mood was going to be. I don't know. I'm just like, I don't know if you guys get into it. You get like in a little funk, as I call it, a little funk. And that's kind of what I was kind of feeling, a little funk. <laughs> Does that make any sense? So, but I think I'm, I'm I, I have good faith that I'll be fine. So, like I said, just, you know. So, I mean, because for them, that, that's a horrible thing to go through. So, anyway, beauties, thanks so much for everything, for all your support, your wonderful kindness, words, everything, just for you, everything. I just feel blessed in a lot of ways, and that's probably what I really should um, focus on, too, is, is being blessed for even the simple things mm -hmm. in my And if you are new to my channel and just coming in, you can go ahead and click that subscribe button if you'd like, and join me each week. And um, join the rest of us and have some chit chatting with beauty and all kinds of beauty related things. Um, and you know, I do a video. Yeah, if it's one video, videos. it might be two videos. It's just and sometimes um, hard to say. So. Just remember, as always, beauties, please just remember to be yourself and just love yourself. And let the whole beauty shine through. So until the next time, y'all take care, and I will see you then. Bye. Mm -hmm. Love y'all. Bye bye.